In other news this morning, just about three years ago, News 18 brought you the story of nearly 80 condemned homes in Logansport. Many of them have been sitting empty for years, and they're not only eyesores. That's right. Firefighters say they're also hazardous to the community. Today, News 18 This Morning revisits Logansport, where about half of these homes have been torn down since our first visit in 2012. But just as they're being torn down, more of these dangerous structures are being added to the list. Once something like this happens, it's going to take time before, you know, the process of getting the property taken down. It's not something that can happen overnight. This is just one of dozens of homes that still sit empty in the city of Logansport. It's boarded up and littered with weeds. Take a look at this. We also found what was once a meth lab lying on the side of this vacant home. Some of these down here, those are blister packs from the uh, Sudafed that they get the ephedrine out of. We've got drain opener, which is used in the process. You got some plastic bottles there they use to make the stuff in. Assistant Fire Chief Steve Williams says thanks to a nearly million dollar grant, about 40 homes have been torn down since News 18's initial visit in September of 2012. But today there are still dozens of these eyesores scattered throughout the city, something resident Johnny Quinones calls frustrating. With something like this abandoned here, I mean, you get people that might break into it, but this house has been sitting like this for years. If you look here, the, you know, the structural parts like the front, this front porch here, this is all, you know, cracking and coming down. And it's a mirror image next door. The owners of the home nowhere to be found. This property here to the left of us may, may be vacant. Once again, we're going to be left with another, another property for the city to take care of. Code enforcement officer has tall weeds, grass, mowed, debris, trash. But you can look inside and just see that, you know, trash and stuff inside. And then there's this. Here's a view from 100 feet in the air. It's an old vacant warehouse with half the roof missing, something Williams says is another accident waiting to happen. This is another one of those situations where, you know, talk about it unsafe buildings. Kids want to try and get in here and do things they shouldn't be doing. Now, Williams says there are about 30 homes on the list to be torn down in the next year. He says it costs the city about $25,000 to tear a home down once they take ownership.